In this tutorial, we are going to practice solving expressions containing multiple negatives and positives. The first thing that I like to do with a problem like this is to identify all integers that share the same sign. For example, this term is negative, this term is negative, and this term is negative. So we have a negative 12, a negative 9, and a negative 3. And when the signs are the same, we have to find the sum of those absolute values. So I'm going to group all of these negative integers together and I'm going to add these all together. So when combining all of these negative terms, we would have a total of negative 24. Now let's combine all of our positives together. We have a positive 5 right here and a positive 4 right here. So when we combine 5 with 4, that is a total of positive 9. So in this expression, we have a total of 24 negatives and a total of 9 positives. Now we have two values where these signs are different. When the signs are different, you have to find the difference of their absolute values. So let's take 24 and subtract 9. That would give us 15. Now we have to use the sign of the value that has a greater absolute value. And because negative 24 is further away from 0 than positive 9, we have to use the sign of negative 24. So the answer ends up being negative 15. Now if you wish, you can just go from left to right if you want to. Um, I just showed a different strategy for grouping the negatives and the positives together. Starting at 12 below 0 on the number line and then going backward 9 more would put you at negative 21. Then moving forward from negative 21 would put you at negative 16. And then from negative 16 going backward a distance of 3 would put you at negative 19. And from negative 19, moving ahead 4 on the number line would put you at negative 15. Let's try another example. Once again, we are going to group all of the positives together and all the negatives together. So we have a positive 8 here, a positive 9 here. And we have a negative 5 here a negative 2 here, and a negative 12 here. So if we combine the two positive integers together, that would give us a total of positive 17. And if we combine the negatives together, negative 5, negative 2, and negative 12, that would be a total of negative 19. Now after we get our total number of positives and our total number of negatives, we have to notice that these are different signs, so we have to find the difference of their absolute value. And the difference between 19 and 17 is 2, and because we have more negatives, our answer must be negative. We could say that in this expression we have two more negatives than we have positives. Let's try one more example. So let's start by grouping all of our negative values together. So here we have negative 12, we have negative 6, and negative 8. But this time we cannot circle this negative 5 because in front of this negative 5 is a minus sign. And when subtracting a negative, you have to consider this negative value a positive. So let's combine negative 12 negative 6 and negative 8 together. That would give us a total of negative 26. Now let's combine the two positive integers here. So we have 15 and we have what turns out to be positive 5. So combining 15 and 5 gives us a total of positive 20. 
and we can see that we have more negatives than positives, so our answer will be negative. And we can say that we have six more negatives than we have positives. So when adding and subtracting problems with multiple integers, you can start by adding all of the negatives together, and you can add all of the positives together, and then subtract the resulting absolute values, and use the sign of the number with the greater absolute value.